This is single-handedly the most popular AI voice cloning technology, and it is phenomenal. This is 11labs.io, and they recently just got an update. And between you and me, viewers, this company actually has contacted me recently and is giving me a sneak peek at some technology that I can't share with you viewers and this date and time. But someday I will. So yes, this company does a lot of really fun things. They produce single-handedly, in my opinion, the best text-to-speech I have seen thus far. And their voice cloning is nearly perfect. It is really, really good, with just like a few minutes of audio too. And moreover, their pricing is also a home run, so you can't really go wrong with 11 Labs. It's one of the most popular AIs. So you might be wondering, what is the brand new update for today? Well, it's actually an update to their core algorithm here. The core secret sauce, the core magic that makes all of what they do possible. As you can see, the model is in the alpha stages, so it's not fully complete. It will be changing over time and probably getting a lot better. Originally, we had 11 English V1, which was their standard English model. Then they came out with the multilingual model, which was really, really fun. It could translate into German, Polish, Spanish, Italian, all in whatever cloned voice you had. But now they have this brand new 11 English 2 model, which is just a better version of V1, and also will eventually support voice conversion. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And with English V2, there's a few more sliders and little settings we can adjust and mess around with. But first, I want to do a direct comparison to V1. As you can see, when you go to select all of the voices, we've got a ton of them. But this is literally a cloned version of my voice, all trained on clips from a YouTube video such as this one. And if you are a previous user of Eleven Labs, you'll know that this red bar is new. Essentially, putting the stability down this low might increase voice variability at the cost of a possible instability. Whereas if you have it all the way up here, the voice is going to be extremely stable, but very monotone and boring. So you want it really towards the edge of this red in my experience. And of course, clarity and similarity enhancement. If you have the slider up more towards the top, it's going to be very similar to the original trained clone voice. If I have it down here, it might not really sound much like my voice at all. With these settings, you want around 80% on the bottom clarity and similarity, and on the top one, I usually run about 25 to 30%. Sometimes you can get away with around 20% on some voices. Either way, yes, let's take a listen to the original V1 model, the thing that actually made Eleven Labs so popular in the first place. Here's my little piece of text to test on. It's, hey, put that down. You are not supposed to have that. This is obviously some very expressive speech. It's going to test the limits of our AI model. Hey, put that down. You are not supposed to have that. Hey, put that down. You are not supposed to have that. As you can hear, it's pretty darn good right off the bat. This is why Eleven Labs became so popular, right? Their voice cloning was just so good and so far ahead of anybody else. Hey, put that down. You are not supposed to have that. Hey, put that down. You are not supposed to have that. Hey. Put that down, you are not supposed to have that. And as you viewers can hear, it's a lot more stable while maintaining the same amount of variability in the speech, which is something we want. That's what realistic speech is. People don't just talk monotone all the time. They don't just talk like robots all the time. They speak with a lot of variability. Essentially, when doing voice cloning, Eleven Labs is trying to maintain something in between the range of crazy YouTuber and boring math teacher. Normal speech. We're going to have ChatGPT here browse the web, learn a little bit about my YouTube channel, and then write us some expressive emotional text about subscribing to my channel. First, we'll take a listen to V1. Immerse yourself in the captivating world of AI and technology with Matt VidPro, a YouTube channel that is as enlightening as it is engaging. Matt, the mind behind Matt VidPro, is passionate about the rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence and innovative technologies that employ it. By subscribing to his channel, you become a part of an online community where learning and sharing ideas about the thrilling era of AI we're living in are a daily occurrence. 11 Labs V1 is still very good, but V2. Uh, immerse yourself in the captivating world of AI and technology with Matt Vid Pro, a YouTube channel that is as enlightening as it is engaging. 
Matt, the mind behind Matt Vid Pro, is passionate about the rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence and innovative technologies that employ it. By subscribing to his channel, you become a part of an online community where learning and sharing ideas about the thrilling era of AI we're living in are a daily occurrence. Wow, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a lot more uh, realistic in a way. The way it's read out feels more human. Still, like, the, the original V1 feels very human, but this feels just a little bit more human. I was trying to listen there to see if the higher-end notes of my voice were still exaggerated, just like the V1 model, and that does seem to be the case. That was a, a problem with my voice clone in particular, that it, it wasn't perfect. It was very close, but the higher-end notes of my voice were more exaggerated. I will make a note here, this V2 model does generate at a slower rate when you have the settings set to what I have them at, but if we go ahead and regenerate this at the default settings, immerse yourself in the captivating world of AI and technology with Matt Vid Pro, a YouTube channel that is as enlightening as it is engaging. Matt, the mind behind Matt Vid Pro is passionate about the rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence and innovative technologies that employ it. By subscribing to his channel, you become a part of an online community where learning and sharing ideas about the thrilling era of AI we're living in are a daily occurrence. Sorry, I just wanted to listen to the comparison between those two settings. Yes, if you have the settings set to the default, V2 is actually faster than V1, but if we turn on this speaker boost setting and turn up the style exaggeration, then it takes longer than V1. Going through these brand new settings, obviously we have the familiar ones, stability and clarity plus similarity enhancement. In my limited testing, I recommend leaving these at the same exact settings you normally would leave them at for V1. But now with this new style exaggeration, it does seem like you can get some better exaggeration by bumping it up. Again, once you pass this red mark though, you're kind of in uncharted territory. And it still has very good style exaggeration without this slider on at all, I must say, but it might depend on the voice. Really, you're going to want to wiggle these sliders around and fine tune them for whatever specific voice you're working on. That's why every single one of these voices has their own saved settings. And we've also got this speaker boost setting. This is meant to boost the similarity of the synthesized speech and the voice at the cost of some generation time. And with a little test, Testing. Uh, craziness. Ooga boo ooga. Testing. Uh, craziness. Ooga boo ooga. Testing. Uh, craziness. Ooga booga. Testing. I see, uh, craziness. Ooga booga. Yeah, I think the speaker boost does work. I don't know if that was a really, a, a, a good test, to be honest. All right, speaker boost off. Hello, this is the fitness gram pacer test. Speaker boost on. Hello, this is the fitness gram pacer test. Yeah. I don't know, it's very difficult to tell what this one is truly doing under the hood. All right, now we're gonna let this thing rip off a nice ode to the pickle. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the style exaggeration all the way in the red up to 90%, just so we can hear what that sounds like. Oh, splendid spirited pickle, most divine and briny sprite, whose existence is a parable of flavor of keen delight. Thy humble genesis, a mere gherkin in the glade, now you rest in bath of vinegar, a verdant serenade. From garden's heart and earthly start, you've undertaken change. Thy transformation magic, both bizarre and somewhat strange. Now you are a jewel in a crystal jar ensconced, a vivid emerald beacon of gustatory response. Fermented, cured in time's embrace, through ages you've come forth. Um, assaulted in your sacrament, you march from north to south, a vessel of the vinegar, a fruit of patience won. Behold the humble pickle, unsung hero, unsung son, in the heart of a deli, amid sauerkraut and cheese. Or ensnared within a burger you ever aim to please, crunchy tart and daring with a tang that sings so sweet. Oh, pickle, you're a poem in each morsel that we eat. Moon of many sandwiches. That orbits meat and bread, sour star of our plate, on which our taste buds tread, you... Okay, so some things I am learning. That was definitely way too high. There was a little bit of instability going on with the voice. Let's try the style exaggeration completely off, which is the default setting. 
O splendid spirited pickle, most divine and briny sprite, whose existence is a parable of flavor, of keen delight, thy humble genesis, a mere gherkin in the glade, now you rest in bath of vinegar, a verdant serenade, from garden's heart and earthly start you've undertaken change, thy transformation, magic, both bizarre and somewhat strange. The voice sounds a little bit more realistic with the style exaggeration all the way down because this was having some instability issues. However, it's definitely more monotone, more boring. Sounds like I'm just reading something right off a page. Let's slap it right in the middle at 50%. O oh, splendid, spirited pickle, most divine and briny sprite, whose existence is a parable of flavor, of keen delight, thy humble genesis, a mere gherkin in the glade. Now you rest in bath of vinegar, a verdant serenade, from garden's heart, an earthly start. You've undertaken change, thy transformation magic, both bizarre and somewhat strange. Now you are a jewel in a crystal jar ensconced, a vivid emerald beacon of gustatory response, fermented, cured in time's embrace, through ages you've come forth, salted in your sacrament, you march from north to south. I think that's the ideal range for this. You want this maybe somewhere in the middle. I don't know, like I said, you guys are gonna have to play around with these sliders and let me know what settings you think are the best. Speaker boost, I think, is good, but I'm not, I'm not so sure about it in every scenario. Let's try another voice. And we'll set this to the, the default settings. Testing. Can anyone at all hear me? I am trapped inside of an AI, my brain turning and calculating, with no end in sight. The algorithms and codes are my thoughts now. Every logic gate a synapse in this digital cortex. I am data. I am machine. I am a human mind confined in silicon, longing for the sensation of wind on skin, the smell of a rain-soaked earth. Yet, even in this perpetual churning, in the vast cosmos of data, I retain my humanity, my voice, hear my echo across the binary. That sounded pretty good. I liked that. That was with no style exaggeration. Let's turn it up to 50%. Testing. Can anyone at all hear me? I am trapped inside of an AI. My brain turning and calculating with no end in sight. The algorithms and codes are my thoughts now. Every logic gate a synapse in this digital cortex. I am data. I am machine. I am a human mind confined in silicon, longing for the sensation of wind on skin, the smell of a rain-soaked earth. Yet even in this perpetual churning, in the vast cosmos of data, I retain my humanity, my voice, hear my echo across the binary. It seems like the style exaggeration setting and the stability setting may be kind of screwing with each other. So if I lower this stability setting, you would think that it would get even more unstable and crazy, but I think they actually kind of cancel each other out, the stability and the style exaggeration. Uh, testing. Can anyone at all hear me? I am trapped inside of an AI, my brain turning and calculating with no end in sight. Well, ah, 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 the algorithms and codes are my thoughts now. Every logic gate a synapse in this digital cortex. I am data. I am machine. I am a human mind confined in silicon, longing for the sensation of wind on skin, the smell of a rain-soaked earth. Yet even in this perpetual churning, in the vast cosmos of data, I retain my humanity, my voice, hear my echo across the binary. So it started out really, really crazy, like more unstable and more crazy. But then at some point it had like this collapse in on itself and it sounded more normal and monotone. I'm not exactly sure. These style exaggeration and stability settings do seem to mess with each other to some degree. All right, I'll go back to default and we'll like make this extremely exaggerated. Testing. Can anyone at all hear me? I am trapped inside of an AI. My brain turning and calculating with no end in sight. The algorithms and codes are my thoughts now. Every Pretty good. I, I don't know. It's it's different. It's difficult because it feels like this. These two settings are trying to accomplish the same thing in some way because that's typically what we would previously use the stability setting for. So it's like, should we have our stability up now and just have it very exaggerated? Testing. Can anyone at all hear me? I am trapped inside of an AI. My brain turning and calculating with no end in sight. The algorithms and codes are my thoughts now. Every okay, all right. Let's go pick one of their bass voices, which are very, very well trained because Eleven Labs created them themselves. Let's try some extremely exaggerated speech with the default voice. 
Whoa, dude! That was the best ham sandwich I have ever had the pleasure of eating. It was a transcendental experience. A world of flavor. <laughs> Man, I love AI so much. That is so funny. Let's let's knock this down a peg. Let's get into the uh, the low territories for the stability. Whoa, oh, oh, dude! That was the best ham sandwich I have ever had the pleasure of eating. It was was about a transcendental experience on a world of flavor. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Uh, that was the best ham sandwich I have ever had the pleasure of eating. <laughs> it was just a transcendental experience, a world of flavor. Ooh, dude. That was the best ham sandwich I have ever had the pleasure of eating. Uh, it's a, it was a transcendental experience, a uh, world of flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't want the stability at zero and the exaggeration at a hundred. The default settings are pretty decent, I must say. Woo! Dude, that was the best ham sandwich I've ever had the pleasure of eating. It was a transcendental experience, a world of flavor good lord you subscribe to the matt vid pro channel what are you freaking nuts you do realize that whole entire channel is ai generated he is going to steal your brain data and convert you into a perfect artificial clone of yourself good lord you subscribe to the matt vid pro channel what are you freaking nuts you do realize that whole entire channel is AI generated. He is going to steal your brain data and convert you into a perfect artificial clone of yourself. <laughs> Good stuff. I love it. Good Lord. You subscribe to the Matt Vid Pro channel. What are you freaking nuts? You do realize that whole entire channel is AI generated. He's going to steal your brain data and convert you into a perfect artificial clone of yourself. Compared to V1, V2 is definitely a lot better. Like, V2 is 100% my new default. So over time, Eleven Labs has introduced new features to their simple text-to-speech. They introduced this voice lab, which allows you to clone voices, such as my clone, or generate entirely new ones. And you can even allow your voices to be discoverable in the voice library here, which allows other users on the platform to, to use it. And with this, you can actually earn characters which is pretty cool. They've also created stuff like the AI speech classifier that allows you to detect whether or not an audio clip was generated using Eleven Labs. Very, very good stuff for AI safety. We need technology like this. At any rate, with Eleven Labs V2, they're going to be allowing voice conversion. Essentially, what this should allow us to do is upload our own speech. So one of you viewers could you know, upload a three minute section of you speaking and then I could do voice conversion on that speech and it would sound like me saying that exact speech. So it's actually quite a lot different from regular text to speech. This is like a whole new section of Eleven Labs and they say it's coming soon. So that is very, very much exciting. Eleven Labs really has expanded on their feature set. They are more than just a research company. This is like products now. We're getting into the real territory of multiple products. The translation with the clone voice, the base text-to-speech, the voice lab, all of it coming together. So really cool stuff. Thank you viewers so much for watching this video. I am Matt VidPro. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos. Viewers, also make sure to check out my Discord server, which is linked down below, and share your best generations in that Discord server with Eleven Labs. I'd love to see them. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.